Hello y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my cooking channel. I'm your everyday sassy Korean aunt Mia. Today I'm going to make a Mia's stinking good cheesy potato bite that you and your loved ones may be fighting for. So let's get started y'all. For Mia's stinking good cheesy potato bite recipe, you will need one large baking potato, one cup mozzarella cheese, half a teaspoon salt, quarter cup flour, half a teaspoon cinnamon, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon butter. Okay y'all, so here's a potato. I wanna go ahead and tell y'all about potato. You need to get a potato that starchy potato, not a waxy potato, because the starchy potato has more starch. So when I make it dough, it will stay bind well, a lot better than a uh, waxy potato because a waxy potato has more water content. Okay, y'all, so get a baked potato, y'all. I'm telling you, y'all. So I'm going to peel the potato. Okay, so the potato has been peeled, so I'm going to slice this potato in kind of thin slice. Then I'm going to wrap this potato. Actually, I'm going to put this potato into uh, the bowl and wrap it and cook in the microwave for several minutes, y'all. Get in here. Then I'm going to make little hook. All right, y'all. So y'all, this potato has been cooked several minutes and I'm going to mash it down really well. So potato has been mashed up really well. So I'm going to put sugar. Okay, so y'all, this dough has been mixed really well. I'm going to make it about ball size, golf over size of a dough. And put a cheese filling into the dough and close up. Really well. And I will go ahead with the butter. I will go ahead and pan fry them. Okay, y'all. So my fry pan has been heated. So I'm going to melt it in medium heat. And I'm going to use butter to um, cook this potato cake, cheesy potato cake, in medium heat for a couple minutes until each side get golden brown. Y'all, yeah. so this Potato, cheesy potato bite has been flipped it and look at that y'all, how beautiful color, it's a brown color. Ooh, look yummy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just wait for a couple seconds till the other side get brown and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Okay y'all, so this cheesy potato bite, stinking good, has been done. So I wanna go ahead and try one, so. Y'all, look at that, how gooey it is. Now, it's up to y'all. You can actually put some, a uh, little bit of sprinkle with the cinnamon and honey. Then it's gonna be a little bit sweeter, but you can eat as a dessert, or you can eat as just as it is, as a side dish or appetizers. Y'all, let me try this. Mmm, y'all. 
this is an awesome dish that everybody will enjoy. So y'all, I want y'all to try it at home and don't kill your loved ones, y'all. Don't buy pork. Thanks for watching. And next time, I will make a takoki dish and coming right up. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all. Bye, y'all.